Hi guys, I'm Tariq here. So this video is for answering a quick question here that we get to ask a lot that when you submit the form, this loading icon shows here starts to display endlessly. So what's going on actually? Okay, let me show you. Let me answer you today. So when you submit the form, the data gets submitted to the server by Ajax and it gets a response. Let me open Firebug here. And as you can see, there is a response. There is a post request submitted to the server and it got a response like this. So it's a response in a spe specific format and it's called JSON. So when the plugin gets the response like this, it knows what to do and what to act based on this data but the plugin fails when it doesn't re receives the response in this format and it fails so let me show you the quick example so we are adding a code block here in our function themes functions.php and this code is buggy and this will actually generate a php warning and as a result our form will fail and the loading icon will start loading endlessly so let me show you that so here's our form ready we just hit the submit button and it looks like it got frozen so what happens so let me open the firebug again and as you can see the post request is submitted but this guy this little guy here is spinning endlessly so what happens ah uh, no there are lots of errors here we can see but this line is the actual response we are sending back from the plugin but these errors is thrown because our code was buggy like we added a code here and this is generating a php warning and as a result our response got messed up with this php error and as the plugin was expecting a json response but it got some weird response like this the plugin can't plugin don't know what to do with it so the loading icon is loading here endlessly but a plugin actually sent those data to the server and the post actually got posted but this one is loading here endlessly so what to do in this situation well there are two methods here one is we can find where the where the error is coming from or two we can turn off the php errors so the first one is difficult for average users so we're gonna suggest you to do the second that we want to turn off the PHP errors so to do that we need to open the WP config.php and we need to find this WP debug line here and we need to turn off this false it was turn off true before and we need to turn off this as false so what it does actually well it tells php to turn off all the errors and warning and it will not show up so as a result the errors we are getting here it will not be displayed and we will have this response here intact without this work without these errors and the plugin will work fine so the second one is to find the second method is to find the bug that where is the where is the error is coming from but as it's very difficult for average users who doesn't know php so you need to find the right guy and solve this issue so that's for now today thank you